Aloha and welcome. I am Unit E and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the TR sequencer on the Roland DJ202 Serato controller. Now it can be a little confusing at first but I'm hoping to break it down for you so you understand it and you feel more comfortable using it and perhaps getting some live jams in in your DJ sets. So let's dive into it. The first thing you need to do is get your pad mode into sequencer mode. Now, if you do this on one deck, this will show you steps one through eight of a 16 step sequencer that you are allowed to uh, make with all your instruments. Now the parameter buttons here, minus and plus, will let you look at nine through 16 on the plus and one through eight on the minus. Now this is fine, but it isn't helpful when you're playing a pattern and you see it go through 1 through 8 and then it disappears for 9 through 16 and it flashes while it's playing. And when I look at 9 through 16, I could see, but I don't see 1 through 8. It's okay, but I like to see all 16 steps. It allows for quicker sequencing. This can be done by setting up the other deck in sequencer mode as well. It almost defaults to the other 9 through 16 steps. So now I have 1 through 8 and 9 through 16. Check it out. Okay, so we're in sequencer mode. Now, before you really do anything, you're gonna to want to make your pattern, which is the place or the slot that you're going to put your sounds in your little sequences. You have 16 pattern slots, and to access them, you hold shift and hit sequencer. That'll put you in pattern mode with a slow blink. And you will be on pattern one generally by default, unless you've changed it yourself. You can get 1 through 8 this way. If you hold shift, you can get 9 through 16 for your patterns. Letting go of shift and pressing will give you a pattern. Holding a pattern and pressing other subsequent patterns will let you play those patterns in a chain or in a row. You can do any odd ones, and it will jump around at the pattern you make and the order you decide. To delete a pattern, which you might want to do because most of them come already pre-made, so you might want to delete one so you have yourself a blank one to make yourself. Hold the parameter minus button. You'll see them all flash quickly and the one you're on is flashing slowly, just to let you know that if you might not want to delete that one and one of the other faster flashing ones, you may. We're going to go ahead and delete this first one. Now we let go and we play that pattern. It is empty. Okay. So we did that job. We have created an empty pattern. As a side note, to copy a pattern, hold the plus button, hit the pattern you want to copy, and then hit your destination. Let go and then do it again if you wish to copy to another one. Now that we have our pattern, we're going to want to pick our kit, which is our collection of sounds. You get eight sounds in a kit, and there's 12 kits to choose from. To choose your kit, hold shift and hit pattern one more time. Okay, now while you're holding that shift, you'll see your cue pad flashing. This is the pad kit that you are using. While you're holding that shift, you can select your different kits. I will tell you kits one through four are your 808, 909, 707, and 606 patterns, or kits, I apologize, kits. Letting go of shift will let you preview and play them. So that's my 808. If I hold shift and go to two, that should be my 909. And you get four sounds, 606. Anyway, you get one through eight. There are 12 kits I said, so you do have to hit the plus parameter while holding that shift, selecting a kit to go to nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we'll use this one. Now, we've selected our pattern. Then we hit shift pattern again to select our kit. We've listened to our sounds, selected our kit by holding shift and hitting our button, 9 through 16 on plus, 1 through 8 on minus. Now we can go back and hit sequencer. There's two ways to input your patterns and sequence them. One is through the TR style step sequencing, where each one of these steps right here are your quarter note beats, and everything is in a 16th note uh, division. To sequence a sound, you will hold shift. Now, when you do, by default, 
the machine is set to parameter minus. And that is actually your sampler on Serato if it is connected and going. You will actually be activating and sequencing samples. Now that is something you can do with Serato open, but be warned that these are not the internal sounds. You have to hit that plus button. Do that first every time you start a new pattern. Make sure when you hit sequencer to go and sequence your sounds, you must hit shift to select your sound. And when you do, make sure you're on the plus parameter. Once you're on the plus parameter, go ahead and pick one of those sounds. You were listening to them in that preview mode. So this would be our kick here. I could let that go and say I want a four on the floor. I could say one, two, three, four. It will go one, two, three, four. Right? Now while it's playing, I could hold shift and pick my next one. I could get a hi-hat sound, my closed hat, and do a little eighth note hi-hat. Just something like that. And then once again, get a snare maybe in there. As you can see, you can slowly build your sequence that way. Now, another way to do it is to simply finger drum or play in your sounds like you were when you were previewing. If you hit shift and hit sequencer twice, you will be in that insta play mode is what they call it, where I can play these sounds and it won't record it. You'll see flashing and the sounds that are being triggered in time. So now I can add into it. So I might find a rhythm I like doing that or I might find a rhythm or a sound I like and then I could go back to playing it in by just simply hitting sequencer twice. Okay, so to preview it's shift sequencer button twice but you're actually activating pattern twice. And to go in and record that finger drum is just hitting sequencer twice. Now I could play it in. Holding shift in this mode will let you delete out that sequenced sound. Okay. So to review quickly from the beginning when you first hit sequencer mode, do it to both decks so you have all 16 steps. And then hit shift sequencer to select your pattern. Once you have a pattern selected, be sure to hit hold parameter minus and delete it so you can start with a clear pattern. Or if you're simply playing it back, this is how you would play it. If I wanted to lengthen, I could do one, two, seven, and then three, and then hit play. The one flashing is the one coming next. And it does it in order like so. So that's how you can play your patterns out of any sequential order. Once you have your patterns selected, you are going to hit shift sequencer one more time to select that kit to start creating your pattern with. This is where you can preview it by pressing the pads and holding shift will let you select the kit. Now you can change the kit to hear how your pattern sounds with different kits. So for instance, I can go back to pattern, oh, this one, or sorry, down here, pattern eight, or kit eight, sorry. So now when I play it, I could check it out with different ones. Like so. And then maybe you'll find a kit that sounds better with your sequence. So again, that's picking your kit and you can play it with a second press of sequence while holding shift. Once you've selected that kit, hit sequencer by itself, and now you can step sequence the sound of your choosing. To choose your sound, remember, hold shift when you're in this mode, but before you select your sound, make sure you're on that plus parameter. Plus parameter 
is the internal drum sounds. Hold shift to pick the one you want, and then lay down your sequence. Okay, simple as that. All it takes is repetition of making a pattern, play around with it, and then go back into it, delete it, and do it again. After you've done it about a handful of times, it's going to become second nature, and you're going to find out how you can unlock it and have a lot more fun with it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let everyone else know that it was useful. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell once you subscribe to be notified of any new videos so you can stay on top of your game, and that makes me stay on top of mine. Once again, I am Unit E, and as always, thanks for watching.